Uh, hey guys, what's going on? So me and Nick just crushed the 1,000 rep arm workout challenge. Nick, what do you think about it? Uh, it was crazy. It was exhausting. My arms are still, I can barely hold a cup of water. <laughs> it was amazing, guys. So let's just jump right into it, man. We started off right away with easy bar curls. Nick, I noticed you like to go with a wide grip, I like, hey? I love, I just love doing wide grip. Yeah, I absolutely. I really want to add uh, width add, to my arms. Always, add some so. size on the, in, yeah, uh, yeah. on the inside, right? Exactly, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was going for more of a narrow grip because uh, I find that it's more comfortable on the wrist with the way the Easy Bar is um, designed. But I find that, like, because you can go really wide on it, right? But then it, when you're grabbing it really wide, it doesn't have that groove in it anymore. No. So then it this, the wrist strain a little bit, I find. Well, but, I, was, I was on the outside. Yeah. But I see guys go even wider. Yeah, absolutely. I'm you can just, go like really, really wide. I just like to bring it up to my chin, like to my... I all, all like when I curl it, I like to bring it up to my face. Yeah, just get a better like squeeze a, at, the peak, at the top. I think Arnold Schwarzenegger would do that, right? Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger it brought it all the way up. Um, so I, was doing, I was doing a lot of partial reps just because it was such high volume. Um, but you know what, honestly, I probably could have brought it up a little bit higher. Your form is pretty good and you're keeping it really strict. Um, trying to, man. It was like, this is the first, first workouts were okay, but definitely started getting sloppy, but fuck, you tried doing a thousand reps. You yeah, no doubt. Is, man, so. Absolutely, yeah. Once you, you know, you get, you get into that fifth set and you're doing it, uh, doing 20 reps and it feels like, feels like you're, carrying a hundred more pounds than you were doing originally, right? Exactly, man. It's just crazy. Yeah. Even but, though, like, like we would cheat, I did cheat, but I, at least I, at least if I can control my negative, I'm still getting that burn. Yeah, you like, were mentioning still, that, right? Yeah, you were mentioning- I still find it effective, my arms felt like spaghetti. Right? Absolutely, yeah. And you know what, it comes down to that mind-muscle connection too, right? Exactly. So Nick, you took that EX, ESP Extreme, hey? What'd you think of it, man? Uh, definitely one of the strongest pre-workouts I've taken and it, I feel like the focus and your endurance just go right up. Like a freaking oh, yeah. rock, eh? shit was in my blood. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have any crash afterwards? No. no? Well, you know, I got that weird, that, I weird got that little feeling. sleepy, like dozed off, like not dozy, but. Yeah, I know what you mean. Just kind of that the feeling. The, the, the feeling, yep. That high feeling, as you call it. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm high afterwards, yep. It makes me so chilly and, but yeah. So we moved on. We moved on to uh, some uh, some tricep pushdowns. It does say we, oh, I forgot to mention. We totally forgot to mention. The workout got is from T Nation, the 1,000 rep arm training workout. Um, I had seen a couple of the YouTubers I follow on YouTube say that they were doing the thousand rep challenge. And so when I looked up the thousand rep challenge, the T Nation is kind of the first one that popped up. And so we, this is the one we gave uh, gave her a go. It does say straight bar pushdowns, but we don't have a straight bar at any time. We just have okay, the easy man, bar. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. Sometimes you just gotta do what you can with the equipment you know, that you have, yeah. right? Hey man, and we did it because that was, that shit was hard. Bro. Oh yeah, absolutely. Do you like uh, do you like bending forward and and pushing? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like getting over top of the weight because I can push more. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I, I can found, just focus it right into my tries. Yeah, I found that uh, when you when you have your chest high up, it, it the bar feels so far away from you. Yeah. It, it's harder to control that weight, right? And I find that you can get a definitely a better um, contraction at the bottom, better squeeze on the triceps when you're hunched over a little bit and you can just focus on pushing it down as hard as you can, hey? Yeah, I've seen some of the bigger guys do that, so I yeah, just absolutely. try to imitate them and it works for them, so. Yeah, what well, works for them works for, <laughs> should work for a lot exactly. of other people, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this again, everything in this workout was five by 20. I saw, I've watched a couple videos and a lot of people do a uh, super setting of all the, they do a bicep workout and then a tricep workout and they superset a lot of it. Uh, today we decided we wanted to just tackle each workout individually and make sure we were able to push out as much weight as possible. Our rest times were as long as the other person took to do their set. Yeah. Pretty so, much. So we kept we kept the rest times yeah. pretty short. We tried to, man. Yeah, you absolutely. know, once you get into that fifth set, it's kind of yeah, it's hard, right? It's tough. Yeah. yeah so and and, but, and like I said before, we did a lot of rest pausing, or I know I did yeah. personally. I did a lot of like you know, you stop, you gotta take just a second, regain, regain, and then you just focus. and then pump out as much as you can. 
this was the fifth set here and I was just like the L unfortunately you know like we said before the the form kind of goes out the window sometimes and uh, the elbows were moving a lot but you know what, honestly, I was feeling in the triceps the whole time. Like it felt like someone was yeah. drilling nails in the back of my triceps. So it was good <laughs> and uh, I felt it all the way through. For my first set here, I actually grabbed it really uh, close. I went for a very, yeah, close grip very close on the first set here. And then I realized- Were you even on like, was there any grip there? Or was it- was No, there... I went on the non-grip part. Oh, yeah. Right to the middle, yeah. But then, the and then I, I liked it better on the, more in the middle grip. I did that one. Grip. Yeah, that's what I did it's just afterwards. Just about shoulder width. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, and uh, so once after once I did my first set, I switched over to the, uh, the medium grip there afterwards. My jaw was like just clamped down. <laughs> I see some guys actually wearing mouth guards. Yeah, I actually have a mouth guard because I used to grind my teeth a lot at the gym. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really bad for your teeth though. That. Wearing a mouth guard? No, no, grinding your teeth. Oh yeah, grinding your teeth. Grinding oh, your yeah. teeth at the gym, it's just horrible. Oh yeah. Yep. The other day I was actually doing an exercise and my my bottom jaw slid back and it hit my tooth that's a part of my bridge. And I definitely think I uh, loosened up the bridge up. a little bit. Damn. Yeah. So you were saying here, like my first set here, I wasn't, um, I wasn't spreading, um, yeah, like, the ropes as much as you were uh, like you like, were mentioning. I like, like when I as I pull. Yeah. You definitely have to spread them, and then you just get that extra little tweak on your tricep, and it just, it just like like I'm getting a little bit of a, a spread bit, there, yeah. but but, he, but I think I like the general. Usually, I follow follow the general rule of thumb that you're apparently not supposed to let the ropes touch at all. Right? You don't have to let the ropes touch. No, exactly. And so I was unfortunately there. I was letting the ropes basically hang off each other. Like the ropes are touching the entire yeah. time. And I like to keep my hands right on the at, on the nubs there on the end. Yeah, so I don't, I, have... I always find that with a, when I when I have my hands on the nubs, like at the very end there, I feel like one is more forward than the other. I don't know if that's just because yeah, my did, shoulder blades you know sit a little bit different no, or... Sometimes what happens is the rope spins and it's uneven. Ah, you have to make okay, sure yeah. that the, both the ropes are straight and then grab it because if, if it's turned one way, yeah. And it's kind of pulls uneven. Yeah, that's what I. That's, that's what, what I, I usually get. But then sometimes one arm does. It's not exactly perfect, right? The way yeah. it's, you're pulling, and then one arm it does get a little heavier on one side than the other. I yeah, mean, I, that's what just with ropes. Yeah. You know, no rope is perfect. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, lots of ropes have that that wear and tear. Yeah, right? like one side is a little. It hangs a little to the left, so yeah. you can feel that extension on your one arm a little bit better. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, here I went a little bit lower on the weight. I really focused on trying to not let the rope touch at all and bring out the uh, bring it out towards the ends. But then I got I think fatigued towards the tenth, eleventh, and twelfth rep, and I was just like, screw it, I'm just gonna pump these out because I was like at this point. I was just like, there's no way I'm getting them out anymore unless I drop the weight. But I was really determined to pump this weight out. Yeah. Um, so I was really like, shit, like I don't want to drop the weight. So I just did a little bit of rest pause, regained my thoughts. You know what? Make lightweight heavy, man. That's all you got to do. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's what you have done in this scenario, but next time. Alrighty guys, so next we moved on to some hammer curls. Um, not much to say about the hammer curls, I don't think. Um, Nick started off really heavy. I started off with 15s thinking that would be a big challenge and then I moved up uh, weight. Unfortunately at this point the camera was flashing red at us so instead of us being able to film our first and our last set we could only film our uh, you know like one set of each one of the workouts. So we moved on to skull crushers after that. Yeah, I had to do a lot of rest pausing here too because I just and you know what, like we were talking about when we were working out, you can't cheat with a skull crusher. No, you can't. It is. You cannot. It's like, what do you what do you do in the point at when you're gonna fail, right? You basically can't do anything. But bring it down, and there's just no way. It's really hard to swing and cheat. Yeah, exactly. Unless you have a spotter to lift it up for you. Yeah, and you helped me out with uh, uh, I think my last. Just to get you, just to get that, just to get that extension, right? Yeah. Just to get it up a little more. Yeah, exactly. But um. I like to, when I do these, like I really just I keep my head off of the bench. Yeah, I notice that. I just keep find it's way more comfortable. Really, eh? I, don't I know. find that I get um, and I, like, I get I, a neck cramp if I hold my head like that the whole time. I got a thick neck. I don't know. It just yeah. I like to I can see my form too in the mirror. So yeah, that's helps, true. But yeah, I like, you're going nice and behind the head though. I eh? like to go and get that extra like little uh, stretch. Yeah. 
and I can I notice my arms getting thicker, like they start to set, like the the bottom of my arm. Yeah. It's a little bit, uh, it sags a little more and gets a little thicker. <laughs> It's the best feeling when you can just see the pump as it's happening. Hey? And uh, I feel like I was going a little bit too heavy. I'm definitely, I could have gone a little lighter and just stretched it out more, but the weight just, it felt good. So yeah. I just hit the right spots. So yeah, absolutely. Just yeah. Just left it. If it's feeling good, why not? Right? Yeah. These were interesting. what do you think about these? Uh, I've you know never what? done these before. I've seen people doing them. I've seen some of the big guys on Insta doing it, but yeah. I, uh, at first I thought, we're just not getting enough range of motion. But yeah, that's true. But then I felt my peaks, like, because this is kind of that peak contraction, right? Yeah. And holy, <laughs> that was such a, I could not was, get another one was up. An, I was think that, that was an 80 or 70? That was the 70. Damn. I was like, okay, I just want one more. I just could not get it, man. These are going uh, really wide on, like really, really wide, working on that inner, uh, the inner peak. Like you said, you want to, you want to get that nice thick inner yeah, bicep, exactly. right? So, so when people see you head on, your arms look so much wider. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I was whole. Oh, the vascularity was going. I was just going ham on this one. It looks like you have a ramen noodle under your skin sometimes. Ramen noodle. Because of my veins. Yeah, they yeah. get uh, they're pretty squiggly. It's like that Kali muscle. Yeah. Just oh, he is <laughs> in his shoulders. Jeez. That's just thirty years of hardcore training. Yeah. But uh, I found, yeah, I would definitely do these again. Yeah. With strict form, they're amazing. Yeah, and absolutely. And even towards the end, you just do pause reps. Yeah. And just throw them the fuck up. And yeah. it's just a crazy burn. Oh, absolutely. The burn was insane on this. Yeah. It felt like someone was lighting a match and just holding it on my bicep. Just like these last few reps here with the 80, it was yeah. exhausting. And then I did, and a then little, you did a little bit of a drop set. Yeah, here, and right? I grabbed it on the inner this time. Just yeah. To, to mix change it up, up right? Man. Just to, just to uh, mix it up and surprise the muscle. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, got to get can, all the You can angles. see the, uh, you can see your shoulder uh, shreds you got going on there, hey? Eh? Oh yeah, that's good. My arms were burning just from holding, <laughs> just from continuous, just from holding up all that weight continuously. It yeah. just, it just gets exhausting. Oh yeah, for sure. And then uh, we went on to the the kickbacks here, and I had originally done my first couple sets. Just standing, and then Stop Nick right. mentioned that we could uh, we should actually put our, rest our chest on top of the bench. It's just a good stabilizer. Yeah, I highly absolutely. recommend trying it. Yeah, man. we were already so fatigued at this That's point, true. right? And this is you need this at this point just yeah. to keep your form tight. Yeah, absolutely, man. I was feeling a lot of. Um, I don't know if I had swung back too far at one point, but I think on my last rep or two, my left uh, rear delt was just mm -hmm. like. Yeah, you oh, know, I was gonna sore say, shit, man. On the last, on the fifth, or on the fourth, fourth or fifth set or whatever, yeah. I could feel my lats, yeah, going totally like they were just burning just from just from holding the weight up at that angle. Yeah, absolutely. For so long, it's all your muscles in your back start to kind of fatigue. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just trying to keep strict form. Yeah, man. I think our form was actually really good on this. Oh, the reverse curls, man, my forearms, after five sets of 20, man. Yeah. My, and then yeah, after was... everything we had already done, the, the top of my forearm felt like someone was hitting it with a little hammer. Yeah, my- a Little tiny hammer. My form was a little sloppy on these, especially towards the end, but uh, we're at yeah, was... about 900 reps. Yeah. So, I think this was, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> fuck yeah, no doubt. At this point, it's just any anything to get the weight up is just, it's just whatever it takes, right? Yeah. And do you like do you like going for a wider grip or a more narrow uh, grip on this? I was this? grabbing it wider. Yeah. That's just okay. That's the first spot I grabbed and it felt good, so I left it there. Yeah, absolutely, man. Do you like uh, I can't like to keep my thumbs over rather than under because I find that if I put my thumbs under the bar, I use too much uh, hand strength. If that kind of makes sense, I find if I keep my my okay. thumbs over, yeah. I actually use the forearms a little bit more as, as well. I don't know what I did. I can't remember. I think I'm under. Yeah, I'm under. I can feel it. I can feel this one really well on the outer part of my bicep. Yeah, absolutely. It kind of runs up my forearm and on the outside of the bicep. Yeah. It's just oh yeah. This crazy burn. Oh yeah. Reverse. But, uh, yeah, like realistically, I don't know about you, but I don't hit reverse curls that often. I don't either. I don't, so when I, I do them, it's just like it's such a yeah. stun. The muscle it's just like, is so shit. surprised. Yeah, it's like what exactly. the fuck is going on, right? 
cheating a bit here, raising my elbows, but like I said, I'm at like 800 reps here. Yeah, so. and you're just like, you're, you're, you're burning it out, right? Oh, like yeah. it, at this point, you're just like, you know what? Honestly, whatever it takes to get through these last couple hundred reps. And then here, I was able to do one set. My very first set I was able to do on the dip, like just with the dip bars. After that, man, I did, I'd be able to get like three, four out and I just like dropped. So I had to jump over to the bench here. Yeah. Um, I still was getting that good mind muscle connection though mm -hmm. and still flexing the tricep at the top, like just squeezing the shit out of it. All right, man, anything else you want to add? No, it was a crazy workout. I highly suggest trying it. Throw it into your routine and just shock the shit out of your muscles. Yeah, absolutely, and man. Let's see how good your form is after the reps. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, guys. I uh, definitely recommend giving it a go. It shocks the shit out of your arms. And you know what? Honestly, it's something that's really fun to do with partner yeah, and just challenge just kick yourself. Each other's asses. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's all we got for you today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, happy lifting, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.